guys, what is going on? This is your boy Joshua Boyd Williams and yes, I am back on my two month break I, I, I didn't really expect it to be this long, but I also didn't expect it to be this uh, short But yeah, so I am back and I am here with a video for you guys today So we all know Michael Bay everyone knows him as the guy who creates all of these transformer movies and he also has made an adaptation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and he also worked on The Purge and uh, if you guys don't know The Purge is also getting a third movie um, it's also getting a television movie apparently I think next year nevertheless we all know about Michael Bay and the other thing that we also know about Michael Bay is that he is notorious for having all of these huge explosions and gigantic special effects in his movies we all have seen it in almost every single one of his movies so everyone knows that this is something that Michael Bay is about not just that but having these huge muscular guys in there and these you know very over sexual women in these movies as well you know we, we all know the tr the Michael Bay tropes that we tend to see in these movies and so generally when he comes out with a, an idea of what movie he's gonna come out with we kind of know what's going to be expected but <laughs> ladies and gentlemen whew, uh, this 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 one is this is an interesting one the newest movie that Michael Bay is producing and is currently working on right now is a shocker because nobody saw this coming and everyone is asking why why is this happening but mainly why is he the one that's producing it well ladies and gentlemen Oh my god. <laughs> Michael Bay is producing Dora the Explorer. <laughs> that, that, yes, that is becoming a movie. And Michael Bay is producing it. What? <laughs> out of all things, out of all things, he decided that Dora the Explorer was going to be his next project. That, that's interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, um... First of all, from what I know, th there hasn't been a lot of things that has been released about this project, alright? But, from what we know as of right now, this is not going to be the, oh, this is following the adventures of a seven-year-old girl in the jungle, you know, talking to these animals. No, no, no. Dora is actually going to be older. She's going to be a teenager. Kind of like, you know, the newer series, Dora and Friends, except I don't think she's a teenager in that version, or maybe she is, I have no idea. But she's definitely a lot older than how she was in her original series, when, she, again, she was about seven years old at that time. And she is going into the city. She's moving with her cousin, Diego. So Diego is also going to be in the movie as well, which makes sense because he had his own, you know, series and he was in a couple of episodes. So that's all we know for now. But it's hilarious because again, this is Michael Bay we're talking about, okay? I can only imagine how he's going to do this. It's not that I can imagine it. it. A part of me can see it, but then at the same time, I can't see this happening. Is he going to have like a scene where Dora is like running through some buildings or something and there's going to be like this huge explosion? Swiper, no swipe. I bet you Swiper the Fox is definitely not going to be in there, but there's going to be like, what, what, maybe some agency or something? It would be hilarious if there was like this freaking mafia or something, <laughs> like a mafia stole, steals a diamond or something and it's Dora's job to go ahead and try to get the diamond back and return it to its rightful owner and the, or like the mafia happens to, you know, they, they have guns and they're shooting at her or something. I mean, <laughs> obviously this is not something that would happen. But again, again, like let's be real guys. This is this is Michael Bay, okay? Like we all know the tropes of Michael Bay movies. I mean, I'm sure that they're not in every single one of his movies that he's produced and directed, but I'm but they're in a lot of them, which is again, he is known for that stuff. I am interested to see what he's going to do with this franchise, Dora the Explorer. As a live action movie produced by Michael Bay, that it can't get any sillier than that, guys. It, like, it just can't. They're looking into a 2019 release, so we won't be seeing a movie about her until two years from now. Interestingly enough, they were working on this film in 2015, and it was put on hold for whatever reason, and I guess Michael Bay decided to pick it up, and uh, yeah, so that's happening. Definitely, if there's anything I can say, I am definitely going to be following this movie, and <laughs> I'm gonna be following this story, because I am 
really, really interested just to know what they're going to do with this. And another thing, and probably my last thing that I want to know about this film, I want to know what it's actually going to be about. Like, what's really going to be the story of Dora the Explorer, the movie? And then, the last thing I want to know is, is this still going to be kind of like, is it going to be a family film, or is it going to be a a preschool kids type film. That's stuff that we don't know just yet. I have absolutely no idea about that. What a video, what a topic to come back to after two months. Yeah, so um, that's kind of all I have to say. Tell me in the comments section down below what you guys think about this entire situation with Michael Bay making a Door the Explorer live action film. Do you guys think it's gonna be good? Do you guys think it's gonna suck or what? I have no idea, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to see what you guys are going to put in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for even more content. And not only that, click the bell for notifications on so you guys can be notified whenever I post any new videos on this channel. And also, check out my vlog channel, which is the Bun Bun Vlogger. And the link will be in the description box down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until then, peace out.